Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, Stevie Breach coming to you today. Just going about my day, doing things here and there, and uh, came across this story, and it just blew my mind that um, I guess it went down on the um, Observer Radio today with uh, Dave Meltzer. He was asked a question. I haven't been able to listen to the um, the show yet, but I just I just read the report about it. Um, basically, uh, somebody was asking why they are not using Mick Foley on TV, and the answer that Meltzer gave was that Triple H. Um, the guy pretty much running the show around to the V these days is the guy that's holding him down. Every time that Mick Foley's brought up in any uh, booking meetings or any storyline uh, stuff, uh, pretty much Triple H is the guy that, that puts him down. Uh, there's quotes of, of saying that Foley is an out of shape nobody and that nobody cares about him at all. Finaki puts more asses in the seats than Foley does and he should pay us for coming to our shows. Um, that was, uh, from a uh, old uh, writing staff member from a uh, Power Slam 19, or I'm sorry, 2008 interview, and I'm just really surprised. Triple H is one of my favorite wrestlers out there. Um, inside of the ring, he's never really um, been the guy that that has been that great outside of the ring since he's moved into his new job. Basically, ever since he's moved into Stephanie, you can throw a million stones at him and say he's at where he's at because he's married to the boss's daughter. And that is very true. I, I can't really stand up for anything that this guy does out of the ring. Uh, but for uh, Triple H to hold back a guy like Foley makes no sense to me at all today. It is easy to look and say that Triple H became the competitor he is in the ring because of Mick Foley. Uh, there's uh, you know, no way in the world he would have uh, achieved the, uh, the status that he would have got if, if he would have been in there with the guys like Stone Cold and Rock on an everyday basis. It is Mick Foley that went above and beyond uh, to make his career. I, I think you can you can look at three or four matches uh, right off the bat. I mean, Triple H was on the verge of becoming, becoming a main eventer in the, uh, the summer of 99, and uh, he got booked into the uh, SummerSlam uh, main event. It was, uh, you know, What's his name there? Jesse Ventura was a special guest referee. It was uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Mankind, and Triple H. It was the night that Triple H was to become the champion. The, the whole pay per view was booked up to him finally grabbing the reins and uh, you know grabbing that gra that brass ring, as they say. Uh, but at the last minute, Stone Cold put his foot down, said he wasn't going to lose to Triple H. Stone Cold done this to uh, many guys in the past, and he did it in the future, and he did it this night. Uh, WWF at the time knew they wanted to put the belt on. Um, Triple H, so they did the only thing they could think of, and they um, put the belt on Foley that night. Foley got the win, and then um, the next night on Monday Night Raw, they had the one-on-one -on -one match, um, and Mick Foley dropped the title to Triple H. That is available in the King of Kings one. I grabbed a lot of DVDs for this video, but I did not grab that one, so I recommend picking that up if you want to see that. That built in uh, to the next feud, uh, which was the, uh, the winding down of Mick Foley, which was supposed to be his retirement uh, from wrestling. It was his, his last big feud, and in that, he put Triple H over as a million bucks. Triple H um, had been the champion. He had um, won a, a triple threat match against um, The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, and he, he won this and that other feud. He uh, dropped the title to the, the big show um, in, in a three-way match with The Rock that was at the Survivor Series pay-per-view that Stone Cold with Steve Austin was run over, and at the time the storyline, or not the storyline, but the story in the sheets was that the only reason why Big Show became the, the title holder that night was because Vince McMahon had a hard-on for big guys and wanted to make sure a big guy was his champion. Uh, I can't remember who the WCW champion was at the time, but they didn't want to make themselves look bad. Maybe it was Sid. It wasn't Cold for I don't think. Maybe it was. But um, Triple H was able to uh, win the title back right there. I believe it was... One of the first SmackDowns, or maybe the first Raw of the um, of the new year in 2000, that led into the uh, the feud with Cactus Jack, the Royal Rumble. Uh, one of the top ten matches of all time I can think of. It was a, a street fight in Madison Square Garden, Cactus Jack against Triple H. They do everything. Rock makes an appearance, and that is very good. That leads you in to No Way Out 2000, which was also led as Mick Foley's retirement match. If he couldn't get it done, it is available on the Hell in the Cell DVD. And um, Triple H and Mick Foley beat the holy hell out of each other. There's one time there's a barbed wire 2x4 lit on fire, and they're swinging around at the uh, top of the Hell in the Cell. Foley takes the bump that he did with The Undertaker, but they make it look at 10 times better. Maybe this, this time they knew what they were doing. 
Foley falls through the cage and impales into the mat. Uh, and then Triple H finally comes down and pins him. But without those matches, I don't think Triple H ever becomes the star that he was today. He might have been a main eventer. He might have held the championship. But there's no way that you'd be able to look at Triple H the way he is today. And this is becoming from one of the biggest Triple H fans out there that is wearing a Sin Cara t-shirt today. Um, we'll tell you. There, there's no way in the world without that feud with Cactus Jack Mick Foley. Uh, in 99, 2000, that he is the man he is today, and he should give Mick Foley some props. It, yes, he is out of shape, uh, but there's a million things that Mick Foley could do on Raw uh, these days. He could, he could do interviews. Uh, the, the last time we saw him on TV, that was really good. He, he uh, was doing This Is Your Life with John Cena, which went a little bit too far, but The Rock came out and he saved it at the end. Uh, he could be doing anything like this, making monthly uh, to buy monthly appearances that people would like. Uh, so I am a fan of Mick Foley getting back on TV some way. Uh, anything can help to make these three-hour Raws a little bit better. But I'm surprised by you, Triple H.